My name is Angelina Crittenden and I'm a TA for the USC Young Scientist Program. I typically teach fourth grade at Alexander Science Center School. Today, we're going to be doing an experiment to replicate the three types of rocks. So, what are the three main types of rocks? The three main types of rocks are sedimentary, metamorphic, and igneous. Let's learn more about each one. Sedimentary rocks are formed by applying pressure. The rock you see here is sandstone. Over time, lots of dust, dirt, and sediment can settle on top of itself. As more layers settle, the pressure beneath gets higher and higher. The layers are essentially squashed by gravity and their own weight until they become solid rock. Metamorphic rocks are formed by applying heat and pressure. The rock you see here is slate. They're typically made when other rocks are put through intense heat and pressure. For example, if a rock is deep below the Earth's surface, it will experience a lot of heat from being close to magma and a lot of pressure from being so far down. This can transform any kind of rock into a metamorphic rock. Igneous rocks are formed from heat. The rock you see here is obsidian. They're typically made when volcanoes erupt and their magma, now lava, cools down. The lava cools and solidifies into an igneous rock. Now that we know the three types of rocks, let's make them. We obviously don't have enough heat or pressure in our homes to make real rocks, but we can show the rock formation process using a sweet treat, Starburst. We'll also need some aluminum foil and a heat pack. All you need to do is stack some Starburst on top of one another. Fold over your aluminum foil and push, push, push. Make sure to do this on a safe surface. You can even try stacking books on top. When you open the foil, you should see your sedimentary starburst. Notice how the three layers have become one solid mass. Next up is metamorphic. We can actually use a shortcut here and just add heat to our sedimentary rock. Cover the rock again in your foil and apply the heat pack. If you don't have a heat pack, you can ask an adult to safely put the foil in a small oven. Do not microwave the foil. For now, we'll just use our heat pack. After a few minutes, carefully open the foil and see how the rock has changed. What differences do you notice between this rock and the sedimentary rock? Finally, we will be making our igneous rock. We'll start off with new starburst. Place these in the foil and just add the heat pack. So, we'll stack our starburst, fold the foil over, and squish it down just a tad, just to keep it together, then add the heat packs on top. This time, I'm adding two. Let the heat pack sit a bit longer than last time. You really want these to melt. See our igneous rock. When you remove the foil, you should see that the starbursts have melted. What do you notice about this rock? It's time for our historical scientist of the week. Florence Bascom was an American geologist and was the first female 
hired by the United States Geological Survey. She was an expert in petrography and mineralogy who focused on the crystalline rocks of the United States Piedmont region. Thanks, Florence. Thank you for participating. Make sure to tune in next week for more at-home science videos.